Hey guys, welcome, welcome again to uh, the channel here. This is Martin. Uh, this is your host today. So this video is going to be short, but it's uh, I wanted to give you guys an update about my e-commerce uh, website that I've been working on it. Uh, I did add, I end up adding more features. I end up adding search. I end up I adding category and pagination, and I uh, end up adding some uh, some products. But this video here, uh, I'm going to show you how you guys can log into the admin panel as an admin. Uh, you can you can uh, search the post, um, and uh, I did change a little bit on the CSS. And the source code will be, uh, I'll share in the bottom of the video so you guys can, uh, you know, you guys can check it out. But yeah, it's a full stack application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And of course, on the back end is, the, you know, uh, which I think is one of my favorite, uh, you know, my favorite, I think is one of the best ones. Uh, easy, very easy, uh, very, a lot of the, uh, I think .NET has a lot of documentation, but you know, a lot of people probably think think otherwise, but maybe they think uh, JavaScript will be is good. But uh, the cool thing about this one, that you can grab the same code, uh, the same uh, code, and actually make a blazer. Use you know, use it in a blazer application, or you can just create the backend and use uh, Angular or React or Vue. You know, so you can separate it, and uh, you uh, it uses the MVC pattern. Um, so I mean, you can do a lot of things. Play with it. Uh, the sky is the limit in other words but um, but let me know what you think on the bottom of the video and uh, I always like to hear from you guys you know my my viewers and uh, my subscribe but if you haven't uh, my subscribers uh, and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to uh, subscribe uh, you know we like to talk about technology uh, like to to see create applications they you know they they like to for uh i like to create applications to solve problems so all right but anyways let's not waste any more time let's dive in into the video so you guys can check it out let me know what you guys think welcome guys welcome again to another video here i am right now i'm doing a demo for the asp.net core i wanted to give you guys a fully updated the things that i have done for the uh for the application so i uh, you can log in now as an admin and it has a panel inside the admin panel you can check messages so I added categories you can yeah pose you have uh, inventory uh, you can check how many uh, you can check the the products you can add more products you can edit you can delete you can add images so I I, I end up adding more features to the application and also inside the user page you have pagination you have you can search it by the name you can search by a category um, and it has this nice loading every time you refresh the page it's uh, it has this nice circular loading that comes up see see that right there so inside the product you can you can edit the product you can uh, out of more images like for example if you're selling clothes if you're selling hats shorts anything you can you know you can add up uh, prices you can add up a small description about the item that you're selling and you you know it keeps like an inventory of your product and that is uh, the admin can do that uh, if you have a manager in your company you can actually set you know allow access to the manager so it has this nice a uh, background image on it um, you can log out very professional is using uh, so this application I use ASP.NET Core HTML CSS and JavaScript so if you find this video useful make, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to uh, leave a comment on the bottom of the video see I added the pagination there uh, so you can so the pagination is always good because uh, when, let's say you have thousands and thousands of items you don't want to load up all of them that's going to cause resources of your it's going to lack the application it will lack it will slow a little bit so it's best to load up you know if you it's best to load up 10 items or five items instead of using the full resource of your uh of the um of the speed because the speed of the website will start it will start lagging so customers will not like that probably will navigate to some other stores so that costs money that costs that costs time and and so you you want to have pagination you can add up the search to your website so here 
I have a blog that you can actually post, uh, you know, pictures about anything. You may be something new coming up and you want to put, you know, a post or a saying or you can share with your customers. Uh, let's say you're doing tutorials or websites, something you can, you know, you, they can put a comment on it and and somebody else can uh, maybe somebody got stuck with the with the project. So somebody can write a comment. Somebody else can write a comment. But the only way you become the only way you have access to that, you will have to uh, either uh, be already a member or you will have to register. So I'm using here the customer. Uh, I'm logging in as a customer. I'm using a customer email. And I'm gonna put my super secret password, and I'm gonna log in, and I'm, yeah, it shows me that I'm logged in on the inside. Uh, so now inside the post, I can actually uh, write a comment. So right now I only have two posts inside this blog. So and then when you click on it, it gives it goes to the detail page, and inside the de detail page, you can actually uh, put whatever you whatever you you know whatever you would like to. Uh, if you have a question or if you if you like the website, you can, you know, put it there, nice comment. Uh, and then somebody else can go under and write a comment of maybe they think they think something about your comment or they want to um, add a more more into that comment, more more uh, more details. Um, so why ASP.NET Core? ASP.NET Core, if you actually search online, most of the jobs, they require a back in back in uh, uh, framework. And ASP.NET Core uses C Sharp, very power, powerful framework, very popular. A lot of it comes with it comes with logins, register, built in right out of the box. Um, and the, with the .NET 9 coming out, I mean, it came with more features on it. Uh, you can use Blazor if you like. But in this application, I'm only using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So that I mean that should not stop you. You should be you should be able to use if you want to have more more user interface you can actually add up a, a framework like like react view or angular um the back end you can separate it and create uh back end like a service and you can deploy to Azure, um and you can manage your back your data from using Azure. so very very handy all these features that uh, microsoft is coming out so on top of that being a developer for uh a, for microsoft as a, a c sharp developer i mean the salary um if you go online the starting salary is like between 70 and it goes up to 130 and you know that's that's for starting and the medium it could be even higher so it's good it's a good technology to get into it uh, i know a lot of people prefer uh, JavaScript, but this one, uh, this one is um, a lot of companies use it. So uh, you know you you're gonna have a lot of competition, but the C sharp is still a uh, good uh, framework to have. Anyways, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, don't forget, don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to hit the like or hit the bell notification if you're not a member of the channel yet. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we're not asking for money and none of that. We just have a little bit of support. And you guys have a have a good day. Keep coding and peace and love for you guys. See you on the next video. Take care.